14.5. Roughly ignition. 10. Test for start. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We have ignition. 2, 1, Best and. Off. Lift off of the last West Coast United Launch Engine Alliance Delta IV on. heavy rocket carrying NROL 91 for the National Reconnaissance Office. Vehicle has now begun the pitchover maneuver. All three RS 68 engines look good at this time. Core booster is now throttling down at the partial thrust level. And that core booster has now reached the, the desired of Kesselman thrust providing launch vehicle ascent data. The parameters continue to look good. Vehicle is now three miles in altitude, five miles downrange distance, traveling at a velocity of 1,000 miles per hour. Engine parameters continue to look good at this time. Vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Mach 1, Delta 4 is now supersonic. Port, starboard, and center RS-68 engine parameters are within the expected operating parameters right now. The second stage reaction control system pressurization valve has opened. Delta IV now 130 seconds into flight, flying at an altitude of 19 miles, downrange distance of 14 miles. Delta IV has gone to closed loop guidance. Vehicle body rates are as expected. Three minutes remaining in the booster phase of flight. Delta IV rocket weighs now just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of almost 5,000 pounds per second. One minute in por until port and starboard booster engine cutoff. And all three RS-68 engines are showing good performance this time. Vehicle body rates are near zero. 30 seconds remaining now until the port and starboard booster engines cut off. And two minutes remain in booster phase of flight, two minutes remaining until BECO. Strap-on boosters are now throttling down to the partial thrust level. Engine response looks good. We've had strap-on booster cutoff and strap-on separation. The center core RS-68A is now throttling back up to the high power level. The upper stage lock system has begun the boost phase chill down sequence to begin thermal conditioning of the RL-10 engine. One minute remaining in the booster phase of flight.
and now the upper stage fuel system has begun the boost phase fuel down sequence. Core engine chamber pressure continues to look good at this time. That core booster is now throttling down in preparation for Pico. And we have Pico booster engine cutoff. And we have stage separation, su successful separation of the first and second stages. We're seeing the nozzle dis deployment begin on the upper stage engine. We have pre uh, ignition on the DCSS. This is this Delta Mission Control at T plus six minutes and 30 seconds. We just heard flight commentator Rob Kesselman confirm the successful completion of the early phase of today's flight, and all systems continue to operate nominally. At this time, we'll end our live coverage. For more information about the Delta IV Heavy Rocket, please visit ulalaunch.com or join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Caroline Kirk. Thank you for joining me this afternoon. And before we leave you, let's take another look at the final West Coast Delta IV Heavy Launch. Roughy ignition. 10. Just for start. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We have ignition. Two, one, lift off. and liftoff of the last West Coast United Launch Engine Alliance Delta IV on. Heavy Rocket carrying NROL 91 for the National Reconnaissance Office. Vehicle has now begun the pitch over maneuver. All three RS-68 engines look good at this time.